In these pandemic times in certain parts of the world, people have begun to wander back into cinemas to experience the joy of watching a film on the big screen. That love of cinema, that magic, is partly what inspired a recently unveiled picture from India called The Last Film Show. The movie is set in Gujarat in 2010, and it follows a young boy from a remote area whose life is magically transformed when he goes to the cinema. Partly autobiographical, it's been lovingly put together by director Pan Nalin. It's a family drama, but really it's the story of a boy intoxicated by cinema. It becomes an obsession. He tries to make his own kind of cinema uh, and, uh, you know, and ultimately try to sort of fulfill his dream to, to project cinema. It shows him a world which he has never seen. You know, he, he sees people and music and the action. And that was a little bit my own experience growing, growing up in the village. And I wanted that to, you know, and I remember very vividly that I was just blown away by these movies. The boy strikes up a friendship with the projectionist at the local Galaxy Cinema. He gives him food his mother prepared for him. In exchange, the projectionist lets him watch films all day long. And with his friends, he uses spare parts to create a projector. Together, they create their own 35mm movie. In some respects, the last film show bears a resemblance to the celebrated 1988 Italian film Cinema Paradiso, which also featured a young boy with a deep love for movies who strikes up a relationship with a projectionist. I didn't see Cinema Paradiso till like long, long time. I got a DVD and I saw the film. It reminded me so much of my... Uh, my childhood. Even if there is a cinema paradiso, I have to tell the story of, you know, simple innocence of the kids living in the middle of nowhere and how their life sort of turns upside down when they discover magic of cinema. The last film show is not just a big valentine to the wondrous nature of cinema, it's also a love letter to the Indian single screen cinema hall, oftentimes impressive structures which were once ubiquitous but have now dwindled in number. They're becoming relics now from a bygone age. I would say there are absolutely very, very few and uh, sadly they're all being turned into either supermarket or shops, you know, uh, the single screen culture is more or less gone. The last film show, which is beautifully photographed, definitely pleased audiences at a recent festival screening. It was just the kind of movie people wanted to see at this moment in time, where the pandemic has made many realise there's a value to experiencing films on the big screen. There was joy in watching a film all about an Indian boy's passion for the movies. The film has become an invitation to return to cinema because now quite a few festivals around the world are calling us, <laughs> you know, that, oh, we heard about this movie. Uh, can we have it in China, South Korea? Can we do the opening? So that feels really good, you know, that if we can raise that hope in this dark time that, you know, we feel positive. But the few reaction I've got is that, oh, we feel good at the end. We really needed this. <laughs> 